Hello everyone and welcome, I'm Kiv, your favorite degenerate, and today I got something pretty cool to share. Way back when Halo Infinite was still in flighting stages, there was a clip of Mint Blitz doing a plasma stick through a repulsor, which is a really cool way to try and just do a bit of a trick shot, and I saw this way back when, and I figured no way in a million years could I ever do that. Well, lately guys, I've been getting a little bit bored with Halo Infinite, so I figured, you know what? Let's try and one-up Mint Blitz himself at his own game. So I wanted to take his idea of the Repulsor Sticky and just try and get it to the next level. So obviously, I have no idea how to do this. So the last few days, I've been basically practicing on how to get this to work. Usually, I don't use the Repulsor in that kind of way. And initially, it just started out with some very small scale stuff, just using the repulsor to help guide my sticky when I'm using it in normal everyday multiplayer. So initially that started out with small things like if I see an enemy coming towards me, I'm going to actually throw a sticky and then use the repulsor to help push it towards them and make sure that it stays centered. Uh, because sometimes you can actually use it to help make sure that it hits the right target rather than just flying past them. Once I got my head around that, I figured, hey, let's try and use it a little bit more, especially on maps with lots of vehicles, making sure I can use the repulsor to get that extra bit of distance out of the plasma, so that way I can make sure that I can hit those further away targets. So it pretty much became a story of that, <laughs> which is very satisfying to be able to do on a vehicle. So over a short distance, I was able to get the repulsor sticky to work, but I needed to make it a longer distance. So the next trick was getting a plasma to bounce off a wall and then use that to give it the full force of the repulsor to give it that extra oomph across the map. And this is where things got really good. <laughs> <laughs> because I was able to just get my head around this a little bit better for some reason, and with a bit of practice, I was able to position it into some key high traffic areas, which allowed me to get a few more kills with some really, really nice distance. I was even able to get it to a point where I could use this just on the fly, and it was a really satisfying thing to be able to just pull this out of your tool belt whenever you needed it. But this was the point where I said, okay, let's take this and go one step further. I wanted to do it like a volleyball jump serve. So I threw it up in the air, ran forward, and then repulsed it back across the map, and oh my god, I did it. I managed to nail this shot, and it was amazing. It felt so satisfying to be able to hit this. I was so hyped because I did something, and I, I, I took what Mint Blitz had started, and I added my own unique twist to it. So in the end, I do feel as if I finally beat what he did and the icing on the cake was that the person I got was using camo as well so it was just mwah, chef's kiss <laughs> so let me know what you all think about this in the comment section down below and if you haven't already make sure that you subscribe it's all part of the great journey so join me I've been Kiv and I'll see you all on the next one.